Okay, so they're all uh, sanded with uh, some 220. They're super smooth, if a little dirty. Um, super smooth, then I wiped them down with a rag, cut out the circles for the eyes because that doesn't affect the outline. So now this is good for two things. Uh, we will spray the, the black around the eyes and then um, here we have the, for the white eyeballs. What you do is you cut out some of the the black, the outline, and you put some packing tape over it so that the spray doesn't go through. So now I can line up, I find my corner there, boom, and boom. And now I know I can spray here. The packing tape keeps the, the paint from going through. I will extend this. Okay, so we spray painted each one. I'm going to use like a copper on this one. I'm going to use a grayish on this one. Um, something over black, I'm not sure. Red. So these are going to be, uh, oh, this one's going to be, I'm going to use that orange that I like so much, but I don't have orange spray paint, so I did a yellow and red. That's good. And then I had this kind of uh, Oasis Caribbean blue, whatever. Anyway, the problem is that the edges, I don't want to say end grain because it's not green. But uh, MDF is very tricky. So I'm going to have to paint these by hand with a brush to really cover the edges.
right, so I got to learn how to use my phone better uh, for video recording because I was full and it, the camera stopped. Anyway, here's what we got. Now we'll come back tomorrow and we will shoot the uh, stencil on top of these. We'll let them dry for about 12 or 15 hours. They'll still be a tiny bit tacky, which will work out great uh, because we'll use that tackiness, I think, to get the stencil to stay in place. As you can see, I couldn't just leave the colors solid. I had to mess around pulling some uh, of the drip from the other colors, from one color adding it to another. I added the white from this one to the purple and also to the orange. I sprayed some isopropyl alcohol with uh, metallic, ar um, metallic gold colorant in it onto the gray and also onto the red. The only one I left as is, actually two of them, the blue I really like and the red copper, or copper red, red copper. I really like this color. Um, I don't know how much of it has to do with that uh, burnt umber that we put underneath there. We'll see. So, they look good. Alright, tomorrow. All right, it is about 18 or 20 hours later, and we are looking good. This stuff is smooth. Yes, yes, yes. Colors looking good. All right. Okay, first outline is done, and they are looking good. Now here's the thing about stencils. Remember those bridges we had to make to keep certain things covered? Well, they leave little voids, right, in your lines. So there's a little maintenance to do. We're going to sit down with a little paint and a little paintbrush and fill in some of those voids. I mean, the way it is, is fine. It's a certain look, but I don't think it's the look I'm going for, so we're gonna, we're gonna fill those in.
So uh, now we just we're gonna mix up a big batch of clear and pour it over these little cute robots and um, that's it.